Now we head to the West Bank, where the controversy over the location of SodaStream's plant in the occupied West Bank is not going away, but now some Palestinian employees are saying working conditions there are not as bad as people may think. Take a listen. Israelim, Arabim, Arabim, Palestinian, Arabim, Israelim, Gruzim, Muslims, Yehudim, Russim, Ethiopian, all of them are working together. It's nice, it's good. Now, workers there say they make about 1,200 U.S. dollars each month, which is double or triple usual wages in the Palestinian territories. Ahmed Nasser lives in Ramallah and has been working at the company for two years. This is what he told the Jewish Daily Forward. I can bring a million people who want to work at SodaStream. Mohammed Barhoum, a manager at the company, had this to say. שהוא מוקצה לתפילות. אנחנו רואים גם פה שהחבר'ה היהודים גם מתפללים. יש לנו פה, יש פה את הבית כנסת ומתפללים. זה דבר שאתה לא תמצא בכל מקום. זה באמת דבר שאני אומר אותו, זה דבר שעושה לי רק טוב. Now, however happy employees say they are with wages, SodaStream CEO Daniel Birnbaum said he would never have established the plant in the settlement if he knew it would have caused this controversy. Birnbaum joined the company after the plant in the West Bank was already built. In fact, he said its location has turned out to be, quote, a pain in the ass. But he said that when a Palestinian state comes into being, the plant will stay and pay its taxes to that state. He also said, quote, we already have factories under the control of the Chinese, the Germans, the Americans, and many other countries. So what's the problem to have a factory in the Palestinian state to be? We don't give a hoot where the factory is going to be. Uh, Birnbaum's advisor said that within the company, quote, everybody is against the occupation. And just because SodaStream operates in an occupied area, it doesn't mean it violates human rights. He also added that when a Palestinian state is created, SodaStream could become the, quote, seed of the future Palestinian economy.